Wait, hold up. Before you click off this video thinking that it is clickbait, I can guarantee you that this video is not clickbait by any means. In this video, I will present to you a legit 80 CPS drag clicking office mouse that was actually released up to seven years ago. From my testing, this mouse is fairly easy to double click, as you can see. So for every click, I am able to get about two clicks on most tries. This mouse is actually pretty easy to double click. I'd say the A60 and A70 are just a little bit easier, but this mouse is incredibly well for double clicking, meaning that it's a great mouse for drag clicking as well as butterfly clicking. Now, let's get into what you've all been waiting for, drag clicking. For this take, I will be repositioning my mic so that you will be able to hear the clicks better. Enjoy. So yeah, this mouse is absolutely insane. The reason why I think it is so good at drag clicking is probably the surface. So if you look closely, do you see all those bumps, these small little bumps on the plastic? That's like a built-in grip tape. That is why you can drag click this mouse without tape at ease. With tape, it's probably even better. Now that you've seen how truly underrated and overpowered this office mouse is, from seven years ago, you must be thinking, how did I get my hands on it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Given that I'm kind of a drag clicking YouTuber per se, one day I decided to ask my parents if they had any leftover mice or mice that they have kept over the years for some reason. Surprisingly, they told me that there's actually some mice or other tech in the corner of my basement. So what I did is I just went down to the basement and what I found was an actual freaking gold mine of retro tech and old technology from the past. Even this really old mouse that doesn't even have an optical sensor. It has a literal rolling ball. So as any normal person would, I just dumped the box upside down and scoured throughout everything and tore everything apart trying to find any mouse I could lay my hands upon. Eventually, after finding a couple mice, including, you know, the useless roller mouse, I eventually found this humble Dell mouse. And I, at first, scoffed at it. I was like, this thing can't really drag click. It's just an old mouse. There is absolutely no way this thing can drag click well. I'm sure it can't even register the clicks. Well, guess what? I was completely wrong. The first thing I did was bring it up to my bedroom and plug it into my computer. And what I found out shocked me. So I was like, if a mouse can drag click, I'm sure it can double click. So just like any other mouse, I try to double click it and guess what the thing double clicked I was like blown away and I was like there is absolutely no way there is no way this thing can drag click well just like I would with my bloody a70 I put the mouse on my desk and I attempted to drag click it guess what if it wasn't already a spoiler I got freaking 50 CPS right off the bat no tape this was in fact one of the most shocking discoveries I've ever made with a mouse in my life. In fact, after looking at the bottom of the mouse, I learned that you can actually buy this mouse for only like $10 on eBay. And in some locations, you can buy it for $1 on eBay. I don't really know if those are legit, but that just tells you how cheap this mouse is. What's actually mind blowing is this seven year old mouse performs better than nearly every mainstream mouse today. Given this fact, you must be wondering why is this the case? Well, I think I might have a idea as to why. So, Razer mice, for example, have an advanced form of software built into them, like onboard memory. They have Razer Synapse. However, this mouse is a very old mouse that doesn't have any built-in software or anything crazy. It just has 
a hardwired connection basically. So what these mainstream companies don't really like to tell you is that the software that they have built into their mice actually limits your CPS. So if you click too fast, they might interpret those fast clicks as ghost clicks or double clicks. So they will just cancel them out. Meaning you really can't get more than five or 10 CPS on like a Razer mouse for example. However, this mouse, being that it's like a hardwire connection with no advanced software that limits CPS, it can register every single click you do on it, therefore making it extremely amazing for drag clicking, including double clicking. Double clicking in of itself is usually a bad thing. It's a bad thing showing how the mouse is not functioning correctly. A mouse shouldn't double click if you click on it. The reason why it double clicks is because the metal terminals that turn on and off the switch can vibrate up and down twice, therefore resulting in two clicks. So more mainstream mice today will cancel out the second click because they can recognize that that is a double click and they don't want to double click. What's cool is that this mouse can double click and drag click exceptionally well. It switches are pretty long which which are really ideal for drag clicking and for some reason back in the day the mices had extremely good finishes this has like a semi matte gloss finish but this finish is so grippy it's unbelievable so it's actually pretty good the only downsides of this mice is probably that its sensor is eh, it's not the best it only has I believe it only has 1000 dpi in addition the scroll wheel is dog water but I don't think anyone else uses scroll wheels anymore. I think if you're really good at Minecraft, you should just be using hotkeys all the time. And one final downside is, it doesn't come with any side buttons. So if you're used to hotkeying with your side buttons, then I guess you just gotta get used to it. In the description below, I will include a couple eBay links that I found off first glance regarding this mouse. If you want to buy it for yourself, really, I believe this is really the best budget drag clicking mouse you could possibly buy because other budget mice you might see other youtubers showing off in the videos they can't get the cps that this mouse can guaranteed this mouse is so incredibly insane at drag clicking it shocked me it's almost comparable to the bloody a70 or bloody a60 however i'd say the bloody a70 and bloody a60 have an edge over the mouse that edge being overall build quality and the sensor but other than that they pretty much drag click the same they both get extreme exorbitant amounts of CPS and you barely even have to try with this mouse. So I would personally recommend getting an A60 or an A70 mouse, but if you're on a budget, definitely get this mouse without a doubt. $10 is not much for a mouse. Some seller sells it for a dollar. I don't think there's really a market for this mouse, so you should probably be pretty good with it. So just be careful. Make sure you're getting the right model. I will include a model number for this mouse in the description as well so that you can verify that you're getting the correct mouse. To all of you who have made it this far in the video, if you haven't already, please drop a sub and a like on this video. You don't have to, but if you want, you can. And don't forget to share this video to others to help spread awareness for this insanely overpowered and underrated office mouse. I hope you all have a great day. See you in the next one.